Hey, in this tutorial we're looking at section 13.5, which is integration of vectors. Okay, so if we've got a vector q of t, uh, which is equal to x of t i and y of t j, then our integral of q of t dt is equal to the integral of x of t dt i plus the integral of y of t dt j uh, plus c. Don't forget our constant of integration. Okay, and we say that c is a constant vector. Okay, so we say uh, for a two-dimensional case that um, c equals c1i plus c2j and in the three dimensions c equals c1i plus c2j plus c3k. Okay, we can talk about a velocity vector. Hey, okay, I'm going to a position vector. So we say our r of t, okay, our position vector, uh, is equal to our integral okay, of our uh, x dot of t dt i plus the integral of y dot t dt j, okay, which is equal to, of course, our x of t i plus our y of t j uh, plus c. Okay, our acceleration vector to velocity vector, right? Okay, well, our velocity vector is equal to the integral of our x double dot t dt i plus the integral of y double dot t uh, dt j, okay, or simply our x dot t of i plus our y dot t of j plus c. Okay, and of course, if we were to integrate again, then we get uh, the position vector. Okay, so we'll have a look at some of our worked examples. So we'll look at worked example 10. Okay, so we're told that we've got a velocity vector of a particle is given by a vector r dot of t equals 2i plus 6tj for t is greater than or equal to zero. If r1 equals 3i plus j, find the position vector. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to think about integrating it. So we then say, well, our r of t equal to our integral of our 2 dt i plus our integral of 6 t dt j. Okay, so we then say our r of t okay, is equal to 2 t i okay, plus 3t squared j plus c. Okay, now we know when t equals 1, we get this vector here. Okay, so what we do is we say, well, r of 1 okay, equals 2i plus 3j okay, plus c. Okay, and we're going to equal that to the vector we're given of our 3i plus j. Okay, so what we can do then okay, is that we can say, well, our c okay, is going to be equal to our 3i plus j minus our 2i plus 3j. Okay, which gives us i minus 2j. Okay, so what we can say then is that our r of t is equal to 2ti okay, plus our 3t squared j plus our c and we now know that our c is equal to i take 2j okay, which means we can collect like terms here okay. So a coefficient of i is 1, so we can really say that we've got 2t plus 1 i. Okay, and our coefficient of j is negative 2, so we can say plus 3t squared minus 2 j. Okay, I'm going to finish with that worked example, so we'll move on to worked example 11. Okay, so we're told the acceleration vector of a particle is given by r double dot t is equal to uh, 6ti. Okay, where t is greater than or equal to zero. Given that r dot t equals 6i minus 3j and r2 uh, is equal to 4i minus 2j, we've got to find uh, the position vector r of t. So, what we know okay, is that our r double dot of t is equal to our 6ti. That means our r dot of t is equal to the integral of our 6t dt, so dt i, right, which is going to be equal to our 3t squared 
I plus C. Okay, now we, we know this information uh, here though. Okay, sorry, that was not supposed to be a T. Sorry, that's supposed to be a 2 as well. Sorry. So we, what we need to do is let T equal uh, 2. Okay, so then we get R dot of 2 is equal to our uh, 12I plus C. We'll call that C1. Okay, and we know that's equal to our 6I minus 3J. Okay, so that means then our C okay, is going to equal our 6i minus 3j take 12i so c is going to equal our minus 6i take 3j so we can say then that our r dot of t our velocity vector is equal to 3t squared uh, i okay, minus 6i minus 3j okay, which it, we can simplify a bit further and say that we've got 3t squared minus 6i minus 3j. Okay, so that's going to be our velocity vector. Okay, so now if we're going to find our position vector, we're going to integrate our terms again. So we're going to integrate our 3t squared minus 6 t i okay, uh, minus our integral of our 3dtj. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to get our t cubed minus 6t uh, i okay, minus 3tj plus c. Okay, now we know when t equals 2, we get this uh, vector here. So we can say our 4i minus 2j okay, is going to be equal to, uh, we're going to get 8 take uh, 12, okay, so we're going to be uh, our minus 4i okay, uh, take 12j plus c okay, so we can rearrange and we get a c value of 8i plus 4j so that's going to give our position vector equal to Okay, well, we can bring everything together and say that we get t cubed okay, minus our 6t. It's going to be plus our 8i okay, plus we're going to get our 4 plus, uh, sorry, 4 minus 3tj. So we get our 4 and then minus 3t up there. Okay, and that's all there is for this worked example. So we've got one more to go, which is worked example. Uh, 12. This time we're uh, told that the acceleration vector of a moving particle is given by uh, our r double dot t equals cos of t on 2i minus sine of t on 2j. Okay, and we know t is between 0 and 4 pi. We know uh, initially the velocity is 2j and the initial position is i minus 3j. We're going to find the Cartesian equation of the path this time. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to set up our velocity vector. So r dot of t, okay, well that's going to be the integral of our cos of t on 2 dt i plus our integral of our, sorry, minus our integral, because we're take away, minus our integral of sine of t on 2 j. Uh, sorry, we forgot our dt in there, but there's a dt in there, of course. Okay. So what we can do then, okay, is we get our r dot of t okay, is going to be equal to 2 sine of t on 2i okay, plus 2 cos of t on 2j plus our c1. Okay, now initially Okay, so by initial velocity, we're saying t equals 0. t equals 0, we know this is equal to 2j. So we can say, well, 2j is equal to uh, 2 sine of 0i plus 2 cos of 0j. 
8 plus C1. So we say we get our 2J, 8 sine of 0 is 0. Okay, so that's going to disappear completely. Cos of 0 is 1, so we're going to get that equal to 2J, C1. Okay, so we can see then that our C1 value is actually going to equal 0. Okay, so now we want to find our position vector. So we can set that up now. So, well, our R of t is going to equal our integral of our 2 sine t on 2 dt i okay, plus our integral of 2 cos of t on 2 j. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to get minus 4 uh, cos of our t on 2 i plus 4 sine of our t on 2 j plus c2. Don't forget our constant. Hey, again, we know when t our initial position is equal to i minus 3 j, so that's when t equals 0. So we can say then that i minus 3 j is equal to minus 4 cos of zero so zero i plus four sine of zero j plus our c2 i minus three j well cos of zero is one so we've got minus four i sine of zero is zero okay so that disappears plus c2 okay we need to add on our four i okay so we're going to get our c2 is equal to five i minus three j Okay, so I'll come up here now and we can say our R of T then is going to equal our minus 4 cos of our T on 2 I plus our 4 sine of T on 2 J okay, plus our 5 I take our 3 J. Okay, so we can uh, simplify that a little bit more as well because we can then say that we get our r of t equal to 5 minus our 4 cos of t on 2i okay, plus we can say we get our 4 sine of t on 2 uh, take 3j okay, so we've got our, um, our position vector now Okay, so what we need to do is we've got to find our um, parametric equation. So really we're saying our x is equal to this part, our 5 minus 4 cos of t on 2, and y equals 4 sine of t on 2 minus 3. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to be looking at uh, eliminating a parameter. So what we need to do is rearrange for cos and sine here. So what we can say is our cos of t on 2 okay, is equal to our 5 minus 4 on, uh, sorry, 5 minus x on 4, that makes more sense. And our sine of t on 2 okay, is going to equal our y plus 3 on 4. Now, of course, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to square both of these things. So it's 5 minus x on 4 squared okay, plus our y plus 3 on 4 squared equals 1. Okay, so what we can then say is we've got... Okay, we can switch our signs because we're squaring it. Uh, so we'd say we've got our x minus 5 squared plus our y plus 3 squared is going to equal 16. Okay, so we've got a circle with a center at 5 minus 3, okay, with a radius of 4, okay, to give our Cartesian equation. So that's all we've got for this section, uh, so hopefully that will be enough to get you through the questions.